Death is like the wind, always by my side. Incoming eighth. Um, we gotta bring back the TFT streams. That shit was actually hilarious. When I would just go non-verbal. Full on non-verbal. <laughs> I just counterfeit myself, I fear. This guy started tier on locks, uh. But in a way. What's going on down there? That guy hesitated so hard. Damn. You're trying to get diamond, right? Really? By Sunday? Hey, are you that good at TFT? Even I'm not diamond. Why? Well, I don't play. I only play double up. Dude, me and Lynx played a double up game, and is he was going like a fast eight comp, and then I just look at his board. It's just three two, and he has zero gold. I'm like, dude. He's like, I rolled all my gold at six. I'm like, are you dumb as fuck? I kind of not know how to play fast eight. At least we got second. I was just like, sir, what are you doing? He just started crying. I was like, man. Wait, he got two? Or okay. Okay, I love hope. Dude, what? Did he get an assist? He didn't get an assist, though. I just got scammed. Okay, well, usually that trade would be, like, really good. But I guess he got an assist. Or he was, like, got experience from the kill. But he is not supposed to get level 2 there. That is kind of annoying. That is a way to lose half my HP. Cute Luxie, is that is that one good? Um, uh, I mean that one visually is really nice. I like it. Uh, PTA damage. Don't care. In mid lane, PTA is better than conquer. That's all I'm saying. It's the move. He bullies her? I would never- Well, does she really deserve the win if he started tier? Let's be honest. That shit has to be kind of illegal. <clears throat> that can't be good. Also, I'm pretty sure PTA scales more than Conqueror, I think. That's what someone in my stream told me. That, like, since we go Bork, and it's on hit damage, then PTA is better than Conqueror. Because AD doesn't affect the on hit damage. That's what I was told. I'm not sure if true. All I'm saying though is by the win rate, the win rate is really bad on Conqueror. So. If I redeem the ban to someone for holding on you, will you end stream? Yeah. Well, instantly just end stream. And you can ruin everyone's day. Do you have points for that? 
<clears throat> well, yes. Oh wait, did the other one get the incident? <laughs> the um incident. You got the points back, right? I think so. Well, she's not a flash, she's not really fighting me, so we can just fight like any other, like any fight for objective. Maybe they try to fight us? Do they really want grips? We should win any fight though. I think they're giving. Like when you're against these champions that just like sit in a corner like Lux, you just need to be really proactive and just like do every objective. There's a lot of people that like always ask me like, oh, how do you beat Zareth Lux? They just sit under terror, but it's like, okay, if they're sitting under terror, that's a good thing. Like, that means you're winning. Just because you can't kill them. Interesting. See, how do I keep her so long? I mean, she can't really use it because I'll just win wall. <laughs> I'm getting PTs. <laughs> yeah, no. Don't worry. I hate Yasuo as equally as you guys. Like, I despise versing the shim. I hate it. It's so anti fun. I can admit the champ is cringe. Unlike some Yasuo players. Watch it down to go Zeo. Mm, Zeo Bork. <clears throat> what do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? What if everyone's gonna go back to fleet when uh, the changes drop? I need to see what the changes are. Like, if they're just like the same as they were. From like last patch, I'm, I'm still not gonna go because I didn't even like it back then. But if it's like buff even harder than what it was, then I'll use it. I doubt they would buff even harder because like they nerfed for a reason, no? Hmm. As in you hate Yasuo? Yeah, I mean, this is the most cringe champ in the game they're laning against. There's quite literally no counterplay to this champ in lane, so. It's not very fun. <laughs> I used to love Yasuo, but they've made his design just way heavily like automatic win lane and then not scale, which is just like not the vibe. In my opinion, they ruined this champ's identity like really, really hard. Sadly. What is that guy doing? Where did my first Q go? Wait, what? How do I not have NATO there? I have a huge. I feel like my Q went on cooldown, but I didn't actually go off. I think I am executed though. 
Nice. Actually, this is all can wave. Very, very good. I'm not gonna go vamp, I don't need it. An ally has been slain. Missed the plating though. This game can be very hard though. I'm also into Swain, Master Yi, Zyra. Well, Zyra's not really that big of a deal. But yeah, they have very good champs into my champ. <clears throat> you guys should definitely try PTA again though. Because like, okay, I only stopped going PTA because everyone told me it was dog shit. But the way, like, I was winning the most Yasuo games when I was going PTA. And then I checked the win rate and his highest win rate rune is PTA. That's all I'm saying. Wait, Ana, if you ever wanted, like, TFT coaching, like, low-key, I could do that, too. Just saying. Because I did get, like, 300 LP. I'm, like, a 300 LP TFT player. So I could definitely help with that. I coach Lanx. That guy used to be, like, Iron. Now he actually knows how to play, kind of. I kind of want the turret. Oh, no bots. Do they not see me? Ooh, we have five grubs too. Okay, well, if Ash comes, we just dive right? All I care about is my jungler getting me grubs. We do a little bullying. <clears throat> do you think that pre nerf fleet and absorb life second wind every game is pussy behavior? I mean, yeah. Uh, even when fleet was considered good, I never did it. I find it completely boring. L legit, no fun play style at all. Like, I understand why it's good because, like, you can't, you physically can't lose lane no matter how bad you are. And, like, it's not even that. Like, it's not even just like, oh, I'm bad, I need fleet. It's like. It's so much sustain that even if you get hit by every spell, you're still gonna, like, just shit on them. Which I, I just think it's, like, so boring. But at the same time, it makes it so you can't really kill them either. That's, like, no damage. Like, yeah, you can't lose lane, but you can't really snowball lane. But that's why I don't really do it, because I just don't really think it's that good for carrying. And when I see people do that playstyle in, like, silver, gold, I'm just like, dude, what? <clears throat> I, I just really like PTA playstyle way more. Um, also, Zeal's kind of awkward here because I don't really want Navori. Uh, I guess I gotta want Navori. Or I should. Just feel like Shield Bow is a little good into, lo uh, into like, Mastery. <laughs> yeah, no, Ash can't do anything in Dio, so it's really bad. Why'd I think that her E was her Q? Oopsie. Have I tried Shrybreaker? I haven't. I was told by two Yasuo players like it feels really nice, like you're really fast, but you don't deal like that much damage. I'm not sure. No! Sad. I think Shred second. I don't know, like, when you would use it into, like, a lot of range. I mean, this could be a strad game, no? A lot of movement speed and the slow. I feel like this would be the game for it. Right? They have, like, four range players. The slow would be really good, the movement speed, so I don't get kited. <laughs> yeah, it's bad into Yi, but it's good into, like, four of them, though. No? 
And the extra tankiness and health is really good to E because he does true damage. I'd be down to go it, honestly. Does it build out a pickaxe? I don't think it does. I feel like it doesn't. It does not. Fuck. We can take any fight, I'm really strong. Oh, he's... <laughs> oh! Uh, yeah, we can go shard this game. I'm done to try it out. Also, I think if you're taking Shard uh, Breaker, you need like either Conquer or PTA. You need like a damage rune. Like, I would not take that shit with Fleet where you're doing no damage. Oh. Sir, I'm strong as boss. <laughs> I don't think that guy knows how strong I am. One step ahead of the past. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell this then. We get Stride. So what is the build? Like, Bork, Stride, and then... Is it Navori? I think it's Navori. Wait, how does this work by the way? Dealing damage gives you 20 movement speed. AoE, okay. Yeah, I mean, I've always, always, always loved this item for Yasuo, by the way. It just always felt really nice. Very useless on Yone, but I love it on this gem. Hmm, works out at least. Okay, we get Dragon. I just wanted to limit test that. I had a feeling I was gonna die. This E damage does, or this E champ does a lot, a lot of damage, so. I guess we just finished, no worry. I mean, a lot of wind walls is pretty good here, so. Mm, I don't like you. I don't like you either. I think he's one of the most hated junglers to verse in the game. Very annoying. It smells worse than Yasuo, even. What? Mm, how do I, like, get to him? Oh. What? I feel like if he just, like, keeps going, like, left and right, I can never, like, get to him. He just flashes out, but whatever. <clears throat> yeah, no, Yi and Garen are like uh, probably the easiest champs in the game for how OP they are. But, like, when those champs are carrying 1v9 in, in Masters Plus, that is not okay. But they don't really care. They're fine with that, but then they're just like, no, oh, Kale? No, no. Can't let Kale be at all viable. Riot Games is very weird with like what champs they pick are allowed to be viable. What? <laughs> How did I just bring up my menu? <laughs> but yeah, it's like Morgana is never allowed to be good. Kale is never allowed to be really good. Mm. Probably need
Your team has destroyed. I'm not used to having the Shy Breaker thing at all. Oh, they surrendered. Uh, it's GG. But uh, uh, Bork Shy definitely does feel very, very good. I want to try it out more. Feels very nice.